Hi there and welcome to the Roland YouTube channel. Today I want to cover audio interfaces. This is something that is often hard for people to choose because there are so many choices on the market. So today hopefully with this video we'll be able to show you the complete range of interfaces that Roland does and simplify the process of choosing one that's right for your music. So let's get started. So the first interface in the range is the UM1 Mark II. This is a basic MIDI to USB converter interface that allows you to connect your pre-USB MIDI instrument, synthesizer or drum kit to your computer. Another fantastic feature of the UM1 Mark II is its compatibility with iPad. So using Apple's Camera Connect kit, you can connect your MIDI instrument to your iPad for recording into GarageBand via the UM1 Mark II. The next interface in the range is the Duo Capture Mark II. This is a 24-bit audio interface which is designed for Mac and PC and also for recording into iPad. It features faders on the front which allows you to very quickly adjust your input and output levels and also high impedance switch so you can record your bass or your guitar direct into the interface. It's also perfect for recording voice or for recording from line input sources such as CD players and tape decks as well. Typical users of the Duo Capture Mark II would be someone who's traveling a lot on the go and needs an interface that is powered from the USB port on the device. So you don't have to worry about external supplies or batteries, it just works. The third interface in the range is the TriCapture or UA33. We call it the TriCapture because you can record from three sources at the same time. One of those sources could be a stereo input from a CD player, a tape deck or an iPod. Second source could be a balanced microphone input which is phantom powered for a professional microphone. And the third input could be from a high impedance instrument like a guitar or a bass. This is a desktop unit that sits in front of you in your production suite and this is perfect for doing things like narration on top of web productions or YouTube videos for example. One of the major features of it is the fact that it has a loopback function so you can voice over a video production while you're recording it back into your production software at the same time. So that's the try capture. The next four interfaces in the UA range all feature the same VS mic pre's that you find in the vMixing series professional consoles from Roland. These interfaces are designed for high level recording and they start with the Duo Capture EX. This is a portable lightweight interface that features two balance mic preamps with phantom power, also line inputs and also high impedance input as well for recording guitar or bass direct. It also has balanced line outputs which are perfect for connecting to a stage box. It's a USB bus powered interface which means you don't need an external power supply. But it also runs on batteries which is a huge feature of this because that allows you to use it with an iPad. It also has MIDI in and out. So in combination with GarageBand you're able to record the MIDI notes and the audio. Typical users of the Duo Capture EX are professional recording engineers who need a lightweight portable interface. Also musicians that want to use GarageBand on the iPad or musicians who are using the iPad on stage as a sound source for playing back soft synthesizers. That's also a perfect use for the Duo Capture EX. The next interface in the range is the Quad Capture or UA55. This is a four input, four output interface capable of recording up to 192 kilohertz at 24 bit. This is a fantastic interface for pros who need an interface that's light and portable but maintains high quality. One of the great features about the quad capture is the auto sensing function. With a single press of a button, it allows you to set the ultimate recording level for your production. We've done a separate video on this, which you'll be able to find the link below, so check that out. But all of the interfaces from now on in the range feature auto sensing. Typical users of the quad capture, like I said, are self recording musicians, um, especially drummers who often find it difficult to set the perfect level for their recording, but also keyboard players, guitarists, anyone who needs good quality production interface that's light and compact. Now we get to the Octa Capture, which it's called because it has eight balanced microphone inputs. The model number is the UA1010 because it features actually 10 inputs and 10 outputs split across the eight mic ins and the digital input and output as well. This also has a control panel software that comes with it, which allows you to set up things like headphone mixes for several players in the band. And the preamps again are the VS Series Pro preamps that sound fantastic when recording drums, guitar amps, bass guitar or vocals or anything that you're likely to come across in the studio. It's a very sleek design, very simple to use. It connects via a single USB lead to your computer so you don't have to worry about firewire 
or any high-end computer specs. It will work with Mac and PC straight out of the box. You can use any software you like with it. It will work with programs like Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Cubase, Nuendo, Sonar, whatever it is that you may be using. Another big plus with the OctaCapture is the DSP processing on the input. This allows you to, in real time, apply things like filters and compression to your input sources before they're recorded, which allows you to account for things like rumble and noise and hiss and other problems that would usually make their way through to the recording. You can also phase invert, say, the bottom microphone on a snare drum if you're doing a drum recording, so it's a very practical way of using the interface. Another great thing about the monitoring utility that comes with the OctaCapture is the ability to mix direct sources with no latency and also the sound coming back from your sequencing software at the same time. So you can set up specific headphone mixes for the drummer, the keyboard player, all the players in the band can effectively have their own headphone mixes. Typical users would be engineers who are building their studio bit by bit and want to start with an interface with eight microphone preamps, or even pros who want to connect several interfaces together to have 16 mic pre's, which is possible with the OctaCapture interface. The final interface in the range is the Studio Capture, which is also called the UA1610 for its 16 inputs and 10 outputs. This, like the OctaCapture, features high quality combo connectors on the front and back. And in this situation, it actually has 12 high quality microphone preamps, which is enough to do an entire drum kit or a band in a rehearsal situation. There's also balanced outputs on the back from XLR jacks, which allows you to connect it to a PA system. And just like in the OctaCapture situation, you can join several of these for multiplying your inputs and outputs for a mega recording system. Again, one of the key features of the UA series interfaces in this range is the auto sensing function. The auto sense is a great way of capturing your recordings without clipping, so check out that video below. The Studio Capture, just like the Octa Capture, features DSP, but in this situation it's expanded in the Studio Capture with more functions. See the specs on our website. It's a fantastic way of EQing and sweetening your sounds before you record them. It doesn't use any load from the computer to do that. Again, just like the Octa Capture, this interface connects via USB, so it's very simple to use, works on Mac and PC, and you don't have to worry about having a high-spec computer to do multi-channel high quality recording at home and in the studio. Typical users of the studio capture would be any musician that's been given the job to record their band, musicians on the go, because it's still quite compact, this interface, even though it has a lot of ins and outs, and also professional audio engineers that want to maintain the quality without having to buy a lot of features that they don't need on some of the other competing interfaces out there on the market. So that's the studio capture 1610. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's cleared up for you exactly which interfaces we have in the Roland interface range. And we'll see you in the next video.